Hey guys, welcome in this new Figma tutorial in which uh, we're going to create uh, this uh, website uh, UI design from scratch. Uh, now, I also want to remind you that I have a special discount on my Figma course, so feel free to check it out if you're interested. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So let's get started. And the very first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a frame for this uh, website. So we're going to select the desktop and then the very first one, which is 14 by 40. So let's go ahead here and we're going to double click on the name, rename it to one. And now we're going to start and create the logo. Now, at this moment, I'm going to use uh, a value of 40 and let's uh, change this logo to supreme and we're going to make it a little bit smaller since uh, we want to kind of keep it tight and clean looking all right so far so good so let's just keep it like this for now and let's make the actual menu items so let's go overhead here and let's make these uh, to 15 and uh, let's make it a little bit smaller as well regular and uh, even a, a bit smaller that'll do and we're going to maybe come back to the logo in just a moment but for the time being uh, i think this uh, is enough to get us started all right so Let's make this lighter and I'm going to change this uh, to features and let's duplicate with command D using Alt before that. And uh, as you can see, we can uh, easily create these uh, duplicates. Let's change this to services, features, pricing, and this one is going to be contacts. All right, so far, so good. Now let's uh, make these a little bit tighter in order to really set up the stage right here. And let's bring this one, or actually let's, uh, let's bring these uh, a little bit closer and let's move everything a little bit more on the right that'll do and uh, now we're going to create uh, the actual menu button to get uh, started and what we're going to do is to add uh, a rectangle let's bring it below and uh, let's round these up perfect now let's add a stroke around it let's remove this and uh, I'm going to make it uh, light gray, just as this one here. Let's give it a value of two. All right, so far so good. Now we're going to actually go ahead and leverage the Nucleo icons. So let's go ahead here. And uh, I think you can, you can definitely just go on Nucleo icons on just search it on Google, you're going to find uh, the download uh, section right away. So let's go ahead here and let's write, uh, for example, Facebook. And need the B. All right. And uh, let's add, uh, let's go with this icon. We're going to add a few more. Let's go with Instagram and also going to add Twitter. All right, so far, so good. Now let's make these smaller. And most importantly, let's make these uh, look uh, the same between one another. And uh, the easiest way to do that is to simply go ahead and uh, make them uh, um, stay well right next to each other and let's make them even smaller than that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the fill for each and every one of these 
it's probably going to be somewhere around uh, these lines don't want to give them uh, too much emphasis and maybe the twitter logo is going to be just a touch smaller all right <clears throat> so far so good let's uh, distance them just a bit and this is bringing us uh, towards the right uh, direction all right perfect so the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change this uh, the colors and we're going to sample this uh, but uh, we're going to make it a little bit darker since we still want uh, the kind of like a bluish tint uh, to to these uh, but we don't want to go too far and we're going to do the same also for this in order to maintain the the visual consistency consistency and uh, we're just going to make it a little bit lighter so 1.5 and then let's make these uh, two elements just a bit lighter so we have essentially two types of uh, gray and uh, at this point i'm actually going to go ahead and add a layout grid and the reason why we didn't do it before is because this time for this specific project i just wanted to have the base um, of the menu going before actually going ahead and uh, pull the trigger on the layout grid and there isn't any right or wrong way really it's um, it's just a matter of personal preference so as you can see we have the some some things are off and uh, Ideally, we should uh, try and make all of these stay perfectly within the grid, but we're going to freestyle a little bit more and it doesn't necessarily always need to be uh, within uh, the specific column. So, all right, so far, so good. I'm going to make this one a little bit lighter. And now we're going to add uh, the actual headlines. So, or this is the all right so nice little headline right so far so good we're going to make this uh, bigger of course and uh, yeah that will do so just a little bit of line height not too much let's make this one uh, bigger in uh, width and we're also going to add a sub headline which uh, is going for the most part to leverage some uh, lorem ipsum text which we already have and let's remove the remaining one we're going to bring all of this uh, ipsum text uh, right here all right Perfect. So we have the base for the main hero section and uh, we're going to duplicate <clears throat> the bottom right here and we're going to assign it to possible um, buttons. So the very first one is going to be get started and the second one is going to be watch uh, video all right so this one right here is probably going to be 
blue, or actually let's remove this stroke, that's how they feel. And there you go. All right, so far so good. And for the second one, we're going to add a video icon. Where is it? Let's check over here. Um, we need a play button. Like I literally just need the play button. And uh, yeah, I think we're heading towards the right direction. I need an English format. Let's see if uh, nuclear icons can help. Yeah, I mean, we can. Uh, could technically speaking use something around these lines and uh, let me just see if there is oh yeah this is exactly what we're looking for so it's great let's make this one smaller let's bring it here let's bring it here make it bigger bring it on the left and let's sample the same color as we have over there. All right. So far, so good. Perfect. So we have our main uh, call to action buttons. And uh, one thing that we're going to add uh, right now is uh, we're going to add uh, some uh, uh, amazing assets uh, which uh, uh, in particular we're going to add on the top uh, the marketing 3D um, assets from Vietkeo, which uh, uh, you can find on UI8. It's an amazing, amazing uh, kit. I'm going to leave the, the link in the description. And uh, after that, we're going to use uh, some 3D icons by Alexander Shatov, which uh, is also uh, has an amazing kit also available on UI8. So yeah, if you're interested in checking those one out uh, afterwards, uh, you can uh, just check the links in the description. So let me duplicate these and uh, these 3D uh, elements look uh, amazing. Um, they really did an amazing. I, I love how it almost looks like uh, like clay and look at the level of definition. I mean, it's, uh, it's amazing. So let's... Uh, just leave them here for the time being. Maybe let's make this one smaller. Let's bring it all the way here. I want to uh, give all of the emphasis uh, to this uh, piggy. And uh, yeah, that uh, I think will do the trick. All right, so far so good. Now let's make this section a little bit bigger. And let's add a divider line right here and let's make this divider line smaller so we want to keep uh, a more minimal touch we're going to use the same color as the line above all right so far so good and uh, let's duplicate this we're going to make it just a little bit um, or actually, let's let's go ahead and let's add uh, directly a H2. So how it works? Center this, and we're going to make this smaller. Let's center this guy as well. There we go. Let's bring it here. And uh, we're probably going to keep uh, a similar Lorem Ipsum. Just need another, another passage of this. And there we go. All right. So far, so good. And I'm going to bring this uh, below. And 
and here we go perfect all right so far so good now we're actually going to go ahead and add these icons let's make these smaller or actually before that what we're gonna do is we're actually going to make uh, the protruding elements so these borders right here we're going to simply remove them and uh, we do that by creating a rectangle and then uh, bringing it below or actually let's uh, just keep the rectangle above all of them so we can do that uh, all in one single go so i'm going to duplicate duplicate and duplicate let's bring this below now i'm going to select both the rectangle and the image below and ask and call for a mask I do the same for each and every one of these all right perfect so we have uh, our icons and uh, it looks stunning now let's use the scale tool yep that will do and uh, at this point uh, we can uh, easily go ahead and create uh, the text below actually let's add uh, just the label this is going to be um, Facebook and let's try to center this for whatever reason it's, it's not doing it with the automatic guidelines but that's fine what's up and snapchat perfect so let's make these black and uh, we're going to use the transform over here make them uppercase and add some distance between uh, the letters just to create a more engaging effect so we're pretending that this section is uh, essentially explaining some uh, elements related to the actual um, social networks and and the app so let's go ahead over here and let's add a stroke let's use the same the same stroke values as we did earlier let's change this one up and there we go all right so far so good and uh, what we probably want to do now is to actually go ahead and uh, add a section below And we're going to essentially have uh, some sort of uh, call to action. So let's bring this one up. Let's make it white. going to just have uh, the email and the phone number just make it black um, yeah both both will do just 
making up a random number here. And there we go. All right. Also going to add the Nemo. So let's use the outlines one. And also the phone. make this a little bit smaller in width and also change the opacity in these two elements make them also a little bit smaller as well And now let's add the footer. And we're probably going to just duplicate the these elements right here. So it's just going to be very similar to the actual uh, to the header. Maybe let's just try and switch up these elements. Um, or maybe. <clears throat> Okay, well, I will need some sort of like copyright icon or, or whatnot, but let's just keep it like this uh, for the time being. All right, so far, so good. Let's change this one up. Maybe one thing I want to consider doing is to actually make uh, this one's smaller, just span across uh, less lines. Maybe have something around these lines. right now and yeah I think this one this version is looking a bit better so that will certainly help all right so far so good And I think that we're pretty much done with, uh, with this. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, if you liked it, uh, please remember that I have so many videos on my YouTube channel on uh, other tutorials and also UI UX design uh, tutorials. I've been a UI UX designer for over eight years now. 
so I've been doing this forever <laughs> or what, what feels forever. So feel free to check out the other material and uh, I'll see you in the next video.